Signing Todd Frazier signifies Mets no longer believe in David Wright's comeback attempt, and rightfully so. Todd Frazier's shift from the Bronx to Flushing means the Mets have to be officially expecting a thumbs down now on David Wright's latest comeback attempt. It was painstakingly obvious throughout last summer that the Mets no longer could wait for their former all-star third baseman and franchise player. Especially since Wright has been limited to 75 appearances over the past three seasons due to multiple back and neck surgeries, and none since May of 2016. Signing the Jersey bred Frazier to a two-year deal worth $17 million marks the final realization and concession that the Mets need to operate under the assumption that Wright's playing days for them, as much as everyone still can hold out slight glimmers of hope for a feel-good return to the diamond, are most likely behind him. It really hurts to say this, but I obviously can't be relied on to go out there and do what I've done throughout my career. That is a tough thing to say. Wright admitted to MLB.com in an interview two weeks ago. Everything is a concern for me. I haven't progressed to the point where I'll know how it feels to throw a baseball until we get closer to spring. I certainly don't know how the back is going to hold up. As of last week, the 35-year-old Wright notably still had not been cleared to resume baseball. Activity, another ominous sign of the precariousness of trying to restart his career while still managing the spinal stenosis he was diagnosed with a few years ago. That doesn't mean he hadn't long ago earned the right to decide for himself how long to continue attempting to get back on the field. But it also doesn't mean the Mets should have bypassed a reasonable deal such as this one with Frazier, who proved to be a strong local guy fit both on and off the field after the Yankees acquired him from the White Sox last July. As Sandy Alderson noted late last week, is Drubal Cabrera's public admission that he'd prefer to play second base instead of third in. 2018 opened up the possibility for the Mets to add an everyday third baseman who can provide some of the middle of the order power the Mets have missed at the position since Wright's. Heyday is a seven time All Star who knocked in at least 100 runs five times. I don't want to have regrets, Wright said in January. If I can't play? Then I'll be able to say I gave it my best shot, I really did. And if I can play, which obviously is the goal, then that's great as well. And that's ideal. I just don't want to have any regrets when it's all said and done that if I would have just put in some more work, or if I would have just concentrated a little more on the rehab program, I might have been able to do it. When the end comes, the end comes. Hopefully, I've got a little more left. But I guess that's to be determined. Right, of course, still is owed $47 million over the next three seasons from the $138 million contract he signed in 2012. Insurance has been reimbursing the Mets 75% since July of 2016, and the policy would pay off an additional $15 million on the $20 million he is slated to earn this season if he is medically unable to play. At that point, the Mets and the insurance carrier could negotiate an injury settlement for the Remainder, similar to what happened with Prince Fielder and the Texas Rangers when he retired in 2016. The surgeries are obviously serious stuff, but it just kind of plays with your mind mentally. Where you don't know how your body's going to hold up, Wright said. You don't know how you're going to feel a month from now. You don't know how you're going to feel a couple weeks from now. You're hoping that it continues to get better, but you just don't know.
That is why the Mets had to make a hedge move for another third baseman this offseason. Bringing in Frazier might represent a thumbs down for Wright, but it clearly was the right thing to do.